Coming up later in this episode, the gorgeous Lake Buccaneer. Hi, well today I'm back in Biscaros. Beautiful blue skies, a few puffy white clouds and hardly any wind. Or so I thought. Bernard was flying with me today and we were both looking forward to messing around on the water. Before flying, I always check the wind conditions on the lake. We actually have an instrument in the clubhouse showing us the wind direction and the strength. Today, the wind direction was 300 degrees and the strength of the wind was showing between 8 and 10 knots. On the face of it, those conditions were pretty much ideal for water landings and takeoffs. But in reality, once we got over the lake, we encountered some unstable air. We got bumped around a fair bit, and looking down on the water, we could see those telltale white streaks, those white lines that showed that the surface of the water was actually quite agitated. This can, of course, happen quite regularly, and you often find certain areas of the lake where the water is rougher or calmer than others. Certain areas are more sheltered, and others are more exposed to winds. What was unusual this time was, looking at the entire surface of the lake, we couldn't find one particular sector which was calm enough to really safely perform some water landings. Landing would have been one thing, but then taking off again and encountering unfavorable gusts could have been more problematic. There really wasn't much point in carrying on, so I decided to head back to dry land. Once back in the hangar, it was time to meet the newest addition to the Flying Club fleet. I'm going to let you into a little secret. This is actually my dream plane. I really couldn't believe my luck when the Flying Club decided to rent this beautiful Lake Buccaneer from its Belgian owner. Check out the position of the constant speed propeller control, the mixture and the throttle. I'll admit that's a rather unusual place to put the fuel selector switch. It's just such a cool looking plane. It's powered by a 200 horsepower piston engine, mounted on top and rearward facing. So it's actually a push propeller rather than a pull. Because it doesn't have floats but it lands on its hull, the Buccaneer can really be considered as a true flying boat. But it is, of course, amphibious, with retractable gear. It's got a super cool retro feel about it. Check out the instrument panel. I love this plane. I really love this plane. What do you think about it? Hopefully, I'll have a chance to try flying it in the near future. See you next time.